and welcome time to actually make some snowflakes with Python so um, again I've, you got to have a list of commands somewhere that you know to use um, and you can copy and paste so I am in REPL so I can work in my browser I'm going to import turtle that means the browse all the, all the libraries libraries and I'm going to name my turtle member anything after a hashtag is um, commenting so it just ignores it I'm gonna name my turtle you might see over here on the side I've, I've got some code already over there that's the one code I created before it's nice that when you create code that works you kinda of have it handy so you can grab pieces of it or make code little by little and save it and then grab them and put them together so now I gotta name it and then I gotta do that I know I want to create a variable angle equals zero I'm gonna start it off at zero because I'm gonna use that for uh, my direction that I'm going and see what now so it's always gonna be starting at zero if it's if I if I don't know it is I can always tell it to go home Start it off at home, just in case it's not. It never hurts to start things, to initialize things. Um, hey, well, let's just start making stuff. Um, now, I'm gonna, I know I want to make it six times. For I in range six. What do I want to happen? Well, since I got, I've got to change, so I need to... I need to set my heading to be my angle because it's going to change by 60 degrees every time I go through the loop. So I'm going to do t.set heading. I'm going to set it to angle. Now, right now, that makes no sense because angle is zero and heading is zero. And so I'm just setting zero to zero. But at the end of the loop, I'm going to change angle to 60. And then it's going to come back for a second time through the loop. And now I'm going to go at 60 degrees. And I'm going to go through loop to everything on 60 degrees. And I'm going to change it by 60 and go to 120. And now when it comes back up top, angle is 120. So that's why I do that at the beginning. Um, let's make a pen size. T.pen size. You know, 8 sounds good t dot pen color um, I don't know what sounds good I don't know let's go teal again words are going to be more limited in colors you can use the code the hex code for colors um, and let's just see what happens t dot forward 50 and let's just run it. And here's the thing. You, you build it little by little and you see what happens. Well, that's 50. That's really big. We might not want 50. But hey. And maybe I can always bring this over make this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let's go 10. Okay. Oh, because it did it six times. <laughs> you got to remember that. Okay, because um, I didn't change my angle. Oh, so it just it just did 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, so we want to change our angle. Angle. Um, actually, we want to go home first. T dot home, because again, home changes the home changes the heading to zero. So we want to go home. And now we want to change the angle. Angle equals angle plus 60. So we're going to go forward 10. Then let's go home. Then let's change the angle by 60. And we come back up to the top of the loop. And my angle is now 60. Okay, now this makes much more sense, right? Now I can make those bigger. So I set the heading to be angle. 
And at the beginning, it doesn't make sense. It's like, well, it already is zero. But at the end, at the loop, I'm going to add 60 to it. And then so when it comes back up top, angle is now 60. It's going to go through again. Angle's going to now be 120. It comes back up. Okay. Now you want to do, you got to do home first before you change the angle. Because home changes the heading. All right, um, I want to do something else though here. I don't just want to make straight lines. So let's turn t dot right, I don't know, 30. And then let's go, whoop, t dot forward 10. All right, let's see what we got. Whoa, that was interesting. That's not what I was expecting. Let's try. Oh, I know what happened. I didn't pick the pen up. Okay. Before I go home, I better pick the pen up. I was gonna draw lines home. And so then I better put the pen down. T dot pen down at the beginning. Now let's try this. Ah, there we that's much better. So you're making little tick marks, little branches for the snowflakes. Okay, so I want more branches though. So so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on here. I'm gonna go right, but I also want to go left. So I need to come back to that center that center branch. I went right a little bit now I'm over here I gotta get back to the center branch so I can go left so I just back up T dot backward 10 and now I can turn left but this is gonna be the tricky thing remember I'm facing 30 degrees so if I want to be 30 degrees the other way I better turn left 60 Because again, my what's my what's my heading? What's my direction? I'm facing thirty degrees. Just backing up doesn't change where I'm headed. Um, so I mean, so that's just I mean that to me that's a logical way to do it. And now I can go forward. T dot forward. Thirty. Pick the pen up. Uh, so let's read through. So set the heading to angle. Okay, right now angle zero. So that's great. Pen down. Pen size eight. Pen color teal. Go forward 40, turn 30 degrees to the right, go forward 10, back up 10. Turn 60 degrees to the left, go forward 30. Uh, make sure I want to go forward 10, not 30. I want to be symmetrical. Always run through, you know, you know think through your lines of code. Now, I could be commenting here. Aren't these pretty basic? I mean, what am I gonna? What would I say here? I guess I should put a comment here. We are facing thirty right. G H T. So to be thirty left, we turn sixty. I could do that. All right. So there's boom. Got it. Okay. Let's 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 build another layer. So let's get another for statement. For i in range six. Um, but just to make sure, I want angle to be zero. Just to be sure it is zero. And basically, I, I want all this. I I want I want to set my heading angle. I want pen down, pen size, pen color. I mean, I could change them all here. Right, and I want um, pen up and home, angle plus sixty. So I want those. Now I just need to make it draw something. Um, so I need to go past. Ooh, I don't want pen down yet. Ooh, no, no. C 
because I I'm starting at zero zero. I need to go past here. If I'm doing the same color, actually I can. I, I'm fine. All right, T dot Ford. I, I was thinking doing another cut. So I got to go past here. So how far is out to there? Out to there is forty. So I need to go past forty. So let's go ninety. And let's run it. See what happens. Uh, it doesn't like something. Oh, I forgot my colon. That's one of the biggest things I forget. See, this, this gave me an error. It said line 22. All right. So it's making that. All right, so it's going past. Those... So those... Uh, Four, those little branches aren't very big, are they? Let's make them 20. Okay, make them a little bigger. Okay, so I want forward 90. Now I want to make uh, some branches. T dot right. Let's go 70. T dot forward 40. I'm just picking numbers. Um, back up. Um, T dot left. One forty. Double the seventy. T dot forward. Forty. Pick the pen up. I'm just getting rid of some of the blank lines. Okay. How are we doing? So it's going through the first for loop. Now it's going to the second for loop. Making some bigger branches. Alrighty. Alright, now I want to make... I'll do this all again. I want to make a little arc in the end. For 90. Let's go just a touch farther because there's some thickness there. And now t dot circle let's go 40 and 70 yep that was 60 70 let's see what it does i'm going to do one more thing after this and i could have made all the different four statements different colors i could speed this up there's a t speed That's into the second for loop. And I could comment like at the top of the for loops. You know that these are like this is make a hashtag make a second branch. Ooh, that was interesting. Oh, because I didn't go home. Gotcha. That was interesting there. Uh, make a second branch further out. Yep, I forgot all the home stuff. Pen up home angle 60. Hashtag make a arc at the end. And that's what commenting is for. To let people know what's going on. So let's just for you. Hold on hold hit hold here with me. Well, this is going through it. I could just, you know, change the, the pen size, pet thickness, color. There's the arc. There's the Okay, awesome. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to make a second arc going the other way at the end. So, funny thing. 
I just want to complete this circle went 70 degrees. I'm going to complete the circle, but without the pen. So pick the pen up, complete the circle. Size 40. Let's see, 70, 360, that'd be 290. And then put the pen down and make the arc the other way. T dot circle negative 40. That didn't work. Negative 40, 70 degrees of it. So this is just getting back to the beginning of the circle so I can make an arc the other direction. Change how big you want the arc, change how much of the arc you make, and there's so many variables here for you, they, for you to fiddle with, so many numbers you can play with, that that's you get them all unique, you get them all just a little different. But, six-fold symmetry, so you gotta have a four I in range six, and you got to change that angle by 60. See, so you get a little flur at the end. So you can kind of see it completing the circle, just not drawing. I pick the pen up and then put the pen back down. Now we got some. There we go. So there's all the pieces you need. Put it together your own, your way. Thanks for listening.